Atlantis, Myth or a Lost Reality, written by Jen Saunders. The name itself evokes mystery and intrigue, a legendary island civilization swallowed by the sea in a single day and night. Is it a myth, a cautionary tale, or a forgotten chapter in human history? For centuries, this question has captivated historians, archaeologists, and dreamers alike. The story of Atlantis, first mentioned by the Greek philosopher Plato, continues to resonate, fueling our fascination with lost worlds and ancient secrets. Plato's account describes a powerful maritime empire, technologically advanced and culturally rich. This island nation, he claimed, existed 9,000 years before his time, located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, generally believed to be the Strait of Gibraltar. Atlantis, according to Plato, was a formidable power, eventually succumbing to divine retribution for its arrogance and warmongering. The island was swallowed by the sea, vanishing into legend. Despite the fantastical elements of Plato's narrative, many have interpreted it as a historical account. The idea of a lost civilization, possessing advanced knowledge and technology, resonates deeply with our collective imagination. It speaks to a longing for a golden age, a time when humanity possessed wisdom and capabilities now lost to the mists of time. The enduring allure of Atlantis lies in its tantalizing blend of myth and potential reality. Could there be a kernel of truth buried beneath layers of legend and speculation? This question has fueled countless expeditions, research projects and debates, propelling the search for Atlantis into the modern era. Plato's dialogues, Timaeus and Critias, are our primary sources of information about Atlantis. In these works, Plato describes the island's geography, social structure and eventual downfall. He presents Atlantis as a cautionary tale, a civilization corrupted by power and greed, ultimately meeting a catastrophic end. Some scholars believe Plato used Atlantis as a literary device, a fictional setting to illustrate philosophical and political ideas. They argue that the story serves as a warning against the dangers of unchecked ambition and the importance of moral governance. The destruction of Atlantis in this interpretation symbolizes the consequences of societal decay and the cyclical nature of civilizations. However, other researchers maintain that Plato's account, while embellished, may contain elements of historical truth. They point to the level of detail in Plato's description, including geographical features, cultural practices, and technological advancements, as evidence of a possible real-world inspiration. Adding to the intrigue, Plato claimed his account of Atlantis was based on information passed down through generations of Egyptian priests. This suggests the story may have originated from an older tradition, potentially rooted in real events that became distorted and mythologized over time. Intriguingly, the concept of a lost island civilization is not unique to Plato's writings. Similar tales appear in various cultures and mythologies worldwide. The Celtic legend of Wise, a prosperous city swallowed by the sea, shares striking similarities with the Atlantis narrative. In Welsh mythology, the sunken kingdom of Cantreg Gwaelod, said to have been protected by a magical well, echoes the theme of a lost paradise. These recurring motifs suggest a shared human fascination with lost civilizations and catastrophic events. Whether based on actual historical occurrences or purely symbolic narratives, these stories reflect our collective anxieties about the fragility of civilization and the destructive power of nature. The prevalence of flood myths across cultures further adds to the intrigue surrounding Atlantis. The biblical story of Noah's Ark, the Mesopotamian epic of Gilgamesh, and numerous other traditions recount devastating floods that reshape the world. Could these stories, like the Atlantis myth, hold echoes of real events, perhaps exaggerated and mythologized over time? The possibility that these myths contain kernels of historical truth reflecting actual catastrophic events, continues to fuel research and debate. While definitive proof remains elusive, the echoes of lost civilizations in ancient lore provide a compelling backdrop to the ongoing search for Atlantis. The enduring allure of Atlantis has inspired countless expeditions and explorations, each seeking to pinpoint the location of this legendary island. 
From the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean, researchers have scoured the globe, seeking evidence to corroborate Plato's account. Some theories place Atlantis in the vicinity of the Azores, a group of volcanic islands in the North Atlantic. The Azores' unique geological features, including submerged landmasses and evidence of volcanic activity, have fueled speculation that they could be remnants of the lost civilization. Others have focused on the Mediterranean region, exploring sites like Santorini, a volcanic island in the Aegean Sea. The catastrophic eruption of Santorini in the Bronze Age, which devastated the Minoan civilization, has led some to believe it may have inspired the Atlantis legend. Further afield, explorations have extended to the Caribbean, the Americas, and even Antarctica, each location offering tantalizing clues and potential connections to the Atlantis myth. The search for Atlantis, spanning centuries and continents, reflects our enduring fascination with lost worlds and the mysteries of the past. Over the years, numerous discoveries have fueled speculation about the existence of Atlantis. Underwater structures off the coast of Bimini in the Bahamas, known as the Bimini Road, have been cited as possible evidence of ancient construction. However, scientific analysis suggests these formations are naturally occurring geological features. The discovery of the ancient city of Helic, submerged off the coast of Greece, provided a compelling example of a real-world civilization lost to the sea. While Helic's destruction by an earthquake and tsunami doesn't precisely match Plato's account, it demonstrates the plausibility of a sudden, catastrophic event wiping out a thriving city. Controversial claims of finding Atlantis have surfaced periodically, often accompanied by dubious evidence and sensationalized interpretations. These claims, while intriguing, tend to lack rigorous scientific backing and are often dismissed by mainstream archaeology. Despite the lack of conclusive evidence, intriguing clues continue to emerge, fueling speculation and keeping the search for Atlantis alive. Each new discovery, whether a geological anomaly, an ancient artifact, or a reinterpretation of historical texts, adds another layer to the complex and enduring mystery of Atlantis. From a scientific perspective, the existence of Atlantis as described by Plato faces significant challenges. Geologists and oceanographers have found no evidence of a submerged continent or island of the size and complexity described in Plato's dialogues. The timeline presented by Plato, placing Atlantis 9,000 years before his time, also poses problems. This period predates the development of complex civilizations as we understand them, making the existence of a technologically advanced maritime empire highly improbable based on current archaeological and historical knowledge. Furthermore, the catastrophic destruction of an entire island in a single day and night, as described by Plato, is difficult to reconcile with known geological processes. While volcanic eruptions and tsunamis can cause significant devastation, the complete submergence of a large landmass in such a short time frame is unlikely. Despite these scientific challenges, the enduring fascination with Atlantis encourages ongoing research and exploration. While the literal existence of Atlantis as described by Plato remains highly improbable, the possibility of a historical kernel inspiring the myth continues to intrigue researchers and fuel the search for answers. Some scholars propose that Atlantis, rather than a literal historical location, serves as a metaphor or allegory. Plato, in this interpretation, used the story to convey philosophical and moral lessons about the dangers of unchecked power, the importance of ethical governance, and the cyclical nature of civilizations. The destruction of Atlantis in this context symbolizes the consequences of societal decay and the inevitable fall of empires. The story serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the fragility of civilization and the importance of striving for balance and wisdom in our pursuits. Interpreting Atlantis as a metaphor allows for a deeper understanding of Plato's philosophical ideas and the broader themes he explored in his writings. It acknowledges the power of storytelling to convey complex concepts and enduring truths about the human condition. While the metaphorical interpretation doesn't diminish the allure of the Atlantis myth, 
It shifts the focus from a literal search for a lost city to a deeper exploration of the philosophical and symbolic meanings embedded in the story. Despite the lack of definitive proof and the scientific challenges surrounding its existence, the legend of Atlantis continues to captivate our imaginations. The idea of a lost civilization, possessing advanced knowledge and technology, resonates deeply with our collective psyche. The Atlantis myth speaks to our fascination with the unknown, our longing for a golden age, and our anxieties about the fragility of civilization. It reminds us of the vastness of history and the possibility that countless secrets remain hidden beneath the surface of our planet. The enduring allure of Atlantis lies in its tantalizing blend of myth and potential reality. It invites us to contemplate the mysteries of the past, to question our understanding of history, and to imagine the possibilities of lost worlds waiting to be rediscovered. The story of Atlantis, whether a factual account, a cautionary tale, or a metaphorical exploration of human nature, continues to inspire us to seek knowledge, to explore the unknown, and to ponder the mysteries that lie at the heart of our collective history. The quest to unravel the mystery of Atlantis is a journey without a definitive end. While the literal existence of Atlantis as described by Plato remains highly improbable, the search for answers continues to drive exploration, research and debate. New discoveries, technological advancements and reinterpretations of ancient texts offer fresh perspectives and fuel ongoing speculation. The pursuit of Atlantis, whether it leads to a historical breakthrough or a deeper understanding of the myth's enduring power, enriches our understanding of history, culture and the human condition. The story of Atlantis reminds us that our knowledge of the past is incomplete and that countless mysteries remain to be explored. It encourages us to question, to investigate, and to remain open to the possibility of uncovering hidden truths about our world and our place within it. The quest to unravel the mystery of Atlantis is ultimately a journey of discovery, a testament to our enduring curiosity and our unwavering desire to understand the world around us and the secrets of our shared past. Lots of love, Jen Saunders.